okay, okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Om yasa'ala, kuhuluyim la, yahawa bahashim yawashai, bahashim rakaha kudash, double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Achanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I wanted to touch on this article I seen earlier. It's on a few different um, news networks, but this is CNN. It says NAACP DEI supporters call on black athletes. To avoid colleges in states with anti-DEI laws, right? And of course, we're not black. We're just different shades of brown people. And that's a negative connotation that the so-called white man has placed on us. And the way that this man studies us, trust me, trust and believe the elite of them, at least. They know who we are. They know that we are the children of Israel. You know, we come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. And this fight that's going on in the world is spiritual war, so to speak. It's between two nations of people, which both came from our forefathers, Isaac and Rebekah, which are Esau and Jacob, the twins. Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white race, and Jacob is the, the um, progenitor of the so-called blacks race, or blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? So Esau, right now, his, king, his kingdom is falling, and he's really trying to fight tooth and nail to keep you know, all this information from coming out as far as like revealing him. Because that's pretty much what's going on, you know, in the, the scriptures talks about in the last days how Esau would be revealed. As a matter of fact, let me just get that real quick. Let me grab that one scripture real quick and we can go up into some of this article. Because Esau doesn't want critical race theory or he doesn't want black history or, you know, what they call black history. He don't, you know, especially in Florida, they definitely going hard body. That guy, um, DeSantos, I think it's his name. He's been going hard body about um, not wanting any of that stuff to be taught in any florida schools and it's a bunch of states that's like that too they don't want you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans to to know anything about yourself but i mean it's all false history in a sense anyway i mean we get it we understand that you know what i'm saying the slavery and um you know all those different things you know what i'm saying the alligator bait and there's so many different stories you know what i'm saying as far as you know how we've been treated in this country a lot of those stories are there. We understand that. I'm talking about as far as like the untrue part of it is, is they're not telling our people that you are Israelites and that you're not Africans. You know what I'm saying? See, they try and push. They don't even want you to even hear that lie, <laughs> you know, but what they're really doing is they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide all the, um, you know, monstrosities and, and treachery that they've done to us. They don't want that to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, they don't give a shit about you really knowing it, you know, calling yourself an African or anything like that. But let's get this real quick. It's so lucky. I don't mean to rant, but, you know, we got to kind of set stuff up sometimes. But this is um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except that come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And... The coming, um, the, the falling away first goes off into the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because there was a point where you knew who you actually really were. And then we fell we fell off, you know what I'm saying, according to the scriptures. And the Lord, you know, discontinued our heritage, you know, going off into that scripture, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord is the one that actually done this to us for disobedience and just as prophetic as well. But it also says, so now this part of the prophecy right here is starting to play out. The man of sin, the son of perdition. He's being revealed, right? It says, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? So this is this is who, who's being revealed. How is he being revealed? Through the internet. Because they used to be proud of their history until everybody started going on the internet, and now everybody's reposting shit, and, and they can't control it. Because it's millions and millions and millions of videos that's being posted on a day-to-day -day basis of this man just being treacherous as hell. So he doesn't want that information to come out, you know. And if they were so proud to be Americans, why aren't you proud of the way that you got the place? Because it, it, it's an embarrassment to him. As a matter of fact, that scripture that talks about um, the shameful spewing. Um, 
Habakkuk 2 and 16, it says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's um, right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So everything that they used to glorify, proud to be Americans, all those goddamn sta um, statues and shit they had in all those racist-ass towns that got torn down um, during the George Floyd hookup. Um, you know, they, they used to just be, and they still proud as shit, especially with this guy Trump running. The, the one, you know, you never used to kind of know it because they used to keep it under, you know, under wraps. But now that Trump is out here running for office, since, you know, he was president before and he's still out here, you can clearly see these people hate your guts. You got that that one that one side of them that you know they they'll straight tell you you know what I'm saying like you know they, 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 hey you think that you was in the 1800s man with some of these people and don't get caught up in none of those towns that they live in that they call sundown towns man right but it's shameful spewing on good old America now shameful spewing on the so-called white man now they hate hearing the fact that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was that's why they tell you, oh, that was in the past. That was so long ago and all this other shit. See, they don't want to hear it, man, because it's, it's shameful to them. They're, they're, matter of fact, if you mention anything about slavery to some of these white people on the street, they'll be like, oh, yeah, man, that was fucked up, dude. And then you get to telling them about, you know what I'm saying, like how you're the ancestors of those people and that you're going to have to pay for that shit, too. You're going to see how red Esau get. It's embarrassing to them. Especially if you see like a family of them together, the mom, the dad, and the kids, and they down at, you know, in your downtown area walking to a damn um, baseball game or some shit like that. And you ask them a question like they get red because they, they, they get embarrassed. And that's their true color because they're not white. But let's get into some of this article, which it's not going to make no difference, but it kind of shows two things with this article. That Esau is really falling off and that Jacob is really coming up. <laughs> really in reality because when you really think about it there's not a sport in this world or at least from basketball or nfl or college you know basketball football college you can't win no games man without jake you can't win no games without the so-called black man dunking that ball man or shooting that three or whatever the and, and, and jake bringing money because no one is you can have five fresh to death white boys man that's out there balling out of control but it's not going to sell like how jake can sell it because Jake got style, Jake got class, and we're the salt of the earth. So this right here could penetrate if it were to go on long enough. We're just hoping that it doesn't. You know, we're hoping that we're not here another year, another two years, another three years for them to actually see how this works out. <laughs> but it's just interesting that they, you know, that this is, um, you know, what's being said. But let's get some of it. It says black activists, political leaders, and supporters of diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's what DEI is, um, stands for, acronym. Programs are urging black students, athletes to boycott colleges and university in states that have promoted or passed an anti-DEI policies. Their calls come as 81 anti-DEI bills that target programs at colleges have been introduced in 28 states and in Congress since the start of 2023, according to the tally by the Chronicle of Higher Education. Eight have been signed into law in states including Texas and Florida. After the Florida Board of Governors banned public colleges from spending state funding on DEI programs in January, the University of Florida made sweeping changes. See, and let me get this one. Because see, you so-called black people, man, you know, and Hispanics and Native Americans, y'all better, y'all better wake y'all asses up. These people in 2024 are clearly showing you that they clearly hate your ass as if it's the 1700s out here, man. They showing you that, but yet and still, you still running around out here talking about how you're proud of being American. Celebrating fucking 4th of July and all this stupid shit. Y'all better, man, look, the Lord is going to destroy you right along with them, man. Y'all better cut it out. I'm telling you. That Micah 2 and 10, matter of fact, let me grab that first. And I'll grab this other one in Ezekiel. Like, fuck these people, man. Fuck these people. It's crazy, man, how y'all 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 go so hard for these people. Oh no, no, not all of them like that. Who gives a fuck and whether or not all of them like that or not? You, you don't owe them that, man. You don't owe them, you know, hey, the scripture says to if, if it's at all possible to be um at peace with all men. 
All you all you have to do is go to work, do your thing. You don't have to um, be all hee 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 and all that. Because all they want to see you do is laugh and, and, and fucking entertain them, man. You, you, you don't have to do any of that. You know? I'm not saying go and be an asshole and, you know, this, that, and the third. But, you know, have some integrity, man, about yourself when you're going in, into your jobs and, and being around these people. Because me personally, you know, I'm, I'm just going to work and get my daily bread. Other than that, I'm not hanging around um, nowhere where they are after work. That's, that's, that's a no-no for me. That's a no-no for me. I'm not going to no games, no, no professional. I'm not going to no goddamn college game anyway. It won't make me no difference. Because who's, who's majority there? It's them. It's always Jake on the basketball court and the whole goddamn stadium. It's nothing but eating mites. Sitting around laughing, cheering. Your ass miss a free throw and they, 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 they send um, death threats to your mama and them. You know? <laughs> Come on, bro. They, they can't even see it as being a game. You know, it's not fun to them. It's not really, you know, it's not necessarily fun to them. They, they have to win. Or other than that, you know, these people, these fucking so-called white people crazy about them sports, man. They get into big ass brawls. Don't let them be um, drunk. Don't let them get into no drinks. And they see a couple of you niggas out in, in, in a spot where you shouldn't be anyway. Come on, bro. Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. Come out of this place. Come out of the mindset of being a damn American. I'm looking at, uh, they just had the, um, what was that? The parade yesterday, I think it was. Uh, the fucking parade with the Irish. What is that? Uh, um, St. Patrick's Day parade. And the nigga woman there on the news. I ain't seen no so-called black men. <laughs> but the nigga woman is there, man. Like, what are you doing there? And, and don't get me wrong. We know that our, our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and, and some of those Irish are um, Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But the, the picture was just all off. They all on the news. And, of course, you know they ran right up on them to interview them. Because they're the only niggas there. And I'm just looking at this shit, shaking my head like, ugh. But y'all better come out of the mindset of America, man. Spiritually, I'm not talking about physically. We're here, you know. We ain't, we ain't talking about loading up on no plane and and, and skating to Africa and no shit. No, it's talking about coming out of this place mindset wise, because this place is 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 worldly, man, and it goes totally against the scriptures. Stop it with their holidays, man. Stop with all the bullshit. Just go and get what you need. Go shop for what you need, and come on back home. Let their fucking businesses plummet. And it's all Jake lived for anyway, too. Oh, my baby can play basketball. Either that or they getting shot at as a rapper. Getting gunned down by the time they make their first album. Then a lot of these niggas, they ain't even got sense enough once they get the money to get out of the hood like your Jeb Morant guy or whatever his name is. The nigga flashing the guns and shit, just thinking, like, nigga, all that money you got, you don't want to be out of the hood? Is you crazy? He still want to be a hood nigga. Anyway, let me get this one. Because Esau, man, got a perpetual hatred for you Negroes, and y'all don't get it. I'm just going to get to the point. Verse 5, it says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hatest. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And this is for you Edomites, you so-called white people. You've never hated blood. You've been shedding it for hundreds of years, ever since you've been in power, and especially of the children of Israel. You're doing all manner of bullshit still to this very day. And then here you go, uh, uh, you, you know, this man is going, you know, he's fighting tooth and nail, uh, nails to keep you from prospering, man. So that lets you know that this is not your kingdom. All you got to do is kick back. Patiently and faithfully wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man to make that move. Because the Lord said, hey, wait until I rise up to the prey. All we got to do is get up, man, go and get our daily bread every day. Continue on doing these lessons. Continue on reading, studying, praying, fasting, and stand on top of this truth, man, until the Lord makes that move, man. Because it's going to be all worth it. Because we're coming out of this world, man. We're going to come out of this world with substance, baby. <laughs> the rewards <laughs> the rewards are going to be beautiful when we come out of this man's kingdom and it's going to be a beautiful thing man to see them on, on, on the bottom and us on the top and they're not going to understand and because they've shown no mercy they're not going to get any mercy that's why the, the lord said that to um to give to give unto them double 
the Esau, you what you don't you what you so-called white people don't understand is you're you're basically running up a tab right now at the bar, man. And at the end of the night, that tab is gonna have to be paid. Ain't nobody getting out of here until that tab is paid. You're gonna pay the tab of your forefathers, right? It says earlier this month, the state's flagship university announced that it had closed the office of its chief diversity officer to comply with the board of governors directive. You can't if you can't see that this man hates your goddamn guts. You got to be able to see. How can you not see that this man hates your guts, man? It says in response, the NAACP sent the letter Monday to the attention of Charlie Baker the president of the National Collegiate Athletic Association imploring current and prospective students, athletes, to reconsider any decision to attend and compete at predominantly white institutions in Florida. And that's how Jake be getting down, though. Who, who do you see? I'm telling you, they'll come into the high school. The white man, hey, he are, you know, the, the scriptures talks about him being a cunning hunter. He comes to the school, he scouts your child, basically stalking. Motherfucker come to the school and stalk your child while he's on a basketball court or football court, um, court you know, um, football field, Salakia. I don't care what sport it is, gymnastics, tennis, whatever the sport may be. Because, you know, Jake dominating everything, everything that we do. This man, he'll come to the school and he'll stalk your child. Get to offering them all kinds of incentives. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is why you should come here. Do all these grand presentations. Invite you down. Then then they ease up on your mommy and your daddy. And get, if you got a daddy, generally it's the, the the black woman. Get to speaking in her ear. All she thinking about is dollars, dollars, dollars. She ain't thinking about the welfare of the child, man, like that. Dollars, man. Anyway. It says the letter emphasized the value black athletes often bring to collegiate sports programs because they make billions, bro. You know, March Madness, man. And basketball. What, what do you think? You, man, they make, man, I, that shit is like a trillion dollar program. It says Florida's, Florida's dismantling of core representation and um, um, curricula is even more egregious when considering the all too often unseen business behind college sports, the letter reads. Football is particularly, in particular, is more than a game. It's a multi-billion dollar in, um, industry with more, with most revenue earned off the backs of black student athletes. And that's true. That's true. Remember they, you know, the, um, Jake was trying to get a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? Off the image and their likeness. And, and, and Esau was fighting tooth and nail for them to not get anything. Why they making billions? And then they'll get mad if a nigga take a little couple of hundred dollars from somebody. Get to trying to suspend you and expel you and all this other shit. But you making billions. Nigga in the hood trying to, he's still in the hood. You know. Mama's still in the hood. Sister, brother still in the hood. But the so-called white man, he's living out in a gated community. Riding Rolls Royces and shit to fucking practice and all this other shit. Anyway. I mean, it's all silly to me anyway. But, you know. I think, you know, a, you know, a, 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 a so-called black people, a start going to school and trying to be something else other than a motherfucking basketball player. Sports, man. That's all Jake really be concerned with it. That's what they done reduced us to. That's how you know we're destroyed as a people. You don't be hearing about no Jake, no physicists or no mathematicians or no, you know, no, uh, you know, extra, you know, all these different things. No, nah, man, it's just pretty much overall. They push rap and basketball and football on niggas, man. Okay, it says the value black and other co um, college athletes bring to large universities is unmatched, Johnson said. If these institutions are unable to completely invest in those um, athletes, it's time they take their talents elsewhere. Last May, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a law de defunding DEI programs at state universities and colleges, calling them a distraction from the core mission of public universities. See that? Texas, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has also signed similar legislation banning DEI um, offices at state colleges, which has forced some campus programs at the University of Texas, Austin, to stop providing services to students. See, this is how much this man hates you. You got to clearly see that this man hates your goddamn guts, man. And you're, you can sit there and talk about not all of them all you want to. I'm not trying to take a chance with any of them. I don't owe them 
um, 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 the, 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 the justification of trying to figure out if whether or not you're one of the people that hate me or not. I don't give a fuck about that. You're a part of that race and I don't have to deal with you. I'm just trying to get my money. <laughs> you know, when I go to work and that's it and I'm coming home and I don't want to deal with you no further. That's it. It says the NAACP letter came after other outspoken advocates for DEI penned messages to black athletes in recent weeks encouraging them to protest Florida's anti-DEI law or sign with schools and states that support DEI on college campuses. Emmett Smith, arguably the University of Florida's most prominent alumnus with one of the most decorated careers in both the N NCAA and the NFL released a statement on X last week saying he was utterly disgusted with his alma mater decision to shutter its DEI office. We need diverse thinking and backgrounds to enhance our university and the DEI department is necessary to accomplish those goals, Smith wrote. Instead of showing courage and leadership, we continue to fail based we continue to fail based on systematic issues and with the decision University of Florida has confirmed, has conformed to the political pressures of today's time, he added. Um, to the many minority athletes at UA, UF, University of Florida, please be aware and vocal and be, be aware and vocal about this decision by the university who is now closing the doors on other minorities without any oversight. Frank Harris, a professor who teaches diversity and equity in higher education at San Diego State University, told CNN that black athletes have played a major role in helping predominantly white schools establish a high profile in college athlete, athletics. And that's true. If it weren't for Jake, man, motherfuckers would be out there in some goddamn cowboy boots and, 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 and overalls trying to play some basketball. Jake then done turned up a, a, bill, a trillion dollar industry in um, um, marketing as far as sneakers socks fucking uh sweatsuits um 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 you name it man nikes adidas pumas new balance you name it man all these companies have made trillions of dollars off of off the back of, of our young men and women that ain't getting shit out of it to begin with straight up bro and, and like I said again, they stalking your damn kids right out of high, in high school. They stalking your kid. Think about how they stalk LeBron James, man. He ain't even make it to college. They stalked him so cold. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Anyway, it says many, including the University of Florida, have won national championships with star black athletes on their team. For me. In a lot of ways, it's hypocritical for an institution to benefit from black talent and black excellence in athletes and not have similar investment in their success as students as a human being, Harris said. And we know that diversity, equity and inclusion programs are really about serving the whole student to make sure that they feel welcome at an institution. Meanwhile, an Alabama state lawmaker could soon pass a bill that also bans public funding for DEI programs at colleges and state agencies. Birmingham Mayor Randall Wolfen said in February 21st Facebook post that he has no problem organizing black parents and athletes to attend other institutions outside of the state where diversity and inclusion are prioritized. See, until that money stops flowing, until they start getting their asses beating them sports, when them boys start coming to town from a whole nother city, from a whole nother um, university and stomping their asses in the ground when it comes to them scores. Because I'm telling you, see, see, deep down they know they need us, but they act as if they don't. You see what I'm saying? Because there ain't nobody who the fuck. It, it, the ratings are already down on a lot of this shit already, especially um, uh, uh you know, um, you know, professional wise, these college um hookups, they they still making a little bit of um noise. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it's so unaffordable to even go to a damn college now that people not even paying that attention like that no more. But until that money get lost, <laughs> they getting stomped in the ground, and they paying because they they paying these white coaches, man. Um, some of these these coaches, man, at these universities getting paid more than NFL coaches. But anyway, it says these schools want to to court top athletes. Well, they have to put that same energy in courting fairness and inclusion. If not, these athletes will go where they feel welcome, even if that means outside this state. It's that simple. And Jake, Jake kind of waking up, man. I'm not going to front. Jake waking up a little bit. Jake waking up 
to um the bullshit that's going on out here. And if they got any sense about them, but it, it's so you know Jake just so can be. I was just kicking it with my dad about um um how Jake would just sell their goddamn soul, man. They'll just sell it, who's ever got some form. They'll they'll just uh, uh well I know they ain't you know it, you know but. They give you this song and dance about, well, I don't want to be political. I'm just about the money. See, a nigga like Michael Jordan, as much as you niggas go out and buy that nigga's shoes, a nigga like that, he'll be like, man, fuck you niggas. I'm going to where, where it's going to get me on top. He that type of nigga. Why y'all going out standing in line and, and shooting at each other over them, over them $10 shoes that's made in China? He that type. of. See, our people won't make no stance like that. Especially if it, you know, um, um, it's something being offered to them, so to speak. But see, but it's kind of different too, because these colleges already—they're not making. It's not like you know, I'm going to an NBA team or something like that. So I got some choices. You know, this—the Lakers want me. You know, the Celtics want me. You know, the uh, Cavaliers or somebody want me. You know, I'm just gonna kick back and see what my agent says. You know what I'm saying? Who's offering this? Who's offering that? You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna see how it's gonna. You know, we're going to stretch it to the long term, whatever, whatever. It's not like that really with college other than only thing they could really offer you is, is, you know, playing time. Um, uh, you know, like um, um, recognition, so to speak. Look, uh, 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 you know, we, we, we have over, you know, they, you know, they get to talking about the numbers and look at how many people watch our games you know, you're going to be on national TV and, you know, we're definitely going to get you to the NFL or NBA or whatever the case may be. That's all that they can offer you right, right off. Other than, you know what I'm saying? In some slippery way, motherfucker trying, you know, offer you a car or your mama some shit, you know, or, you know, then slipped and got you a little house somewhere or something like that. See, for all that money that they make off Jake and, the, and those college um, hookups anyway, they should be offering, um, um, it's all, a, it's all a business transaction. They be getting, well, they, they get a four-year uh, college education. They get to go on and get a great job. But in the meanwhile, you done made billions. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't want to keep this long. You know, it, it's really disgusting and it's really very vexing when you read a lot of this shit. But, hey, we do understand that this is Esau. This is his kingdom. And we are most definitely... Under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is no, no more than the curses, man. This is no more than the curses. That the Lord was going to put a base nation over us. But guess what, though? Y'all, hey, Esau, y'all going to get double, man. See, Esau, not, that scripture talks about how they don't consider their end. Roughly paraphrasing. They, they're not considering that one day as a race of people, we're going to have to pay for the shit that we've done to those people. They don't, they don't get it. Because really they're not spiritual like that. They don't, they don't, they, you know, they, they don't use the Bible to push their bullshit, but they don't understand it. That's a real living book that they've been dealing with that they shouldn't have never even put their hands on. So it's coming. It's coming, man. You know, I just wanted to touch on this. This was something that I seen on TV um, earlier. And I was like, you know what, well, let me Google it. You know what I'm saying? Why the, you know, my dad popped up on me when I was about to do the lesson. And I kind of, you know, right when I was walking out the door too, because I'm outside right now. I was just going to come out real quick and just get some fresh air and just do the lesson. But I ended up kicking it with him for about an hour, two hours. Done some work on the garage, all kinds of stuff. You know, when he dropped by, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Hey, you know, man's goings of the Lord. Got to kick it with him for a hot sack. And, um, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, hey, this is a real thing. And Jake's starting to wake up. Don't get me wrong. Because Jake, see, um, Jake got a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. Jake don't. They're not going to, two-thirds just not going to come around. But those two-thirds are getting fucking pissed off. That's, that's one thing I will say. Oh, Jake just not out here stupid as hell. You know? All of them not stupid as hell. They, they do, they, they, you know, a lot of them realize that there is an enemy. And it just haven't, the Lord just hasn't, you know, pushed them to the, to the brink of getting down. But it's going to come a point where Jake going to get down. Jake gonna get down. You see how they acting over there in Haiti, right? <laughs> Shit is out of control over there in Haiti. And it's gonna get to a point where um the Lord gonna turn Jake on, man. Jake gonna get down on Esau. And Esau gonna get down on Jake. So it's gonna be some things going. 
It's gonna be some 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 throw them blows, <laughs> throw them bows. <laughs> anyway, man, I just wanted to chop it up on this real quick. Just, just just realize that you can clearly see. If you can't see that these people don't like us, then shame on you, man. And you're gonna get the business with them. I'm telling you, it's gonna come a point where you gonna Esau gonna show y'all. That's that's what that's what's gonna really happen. Esau is about to he, see Jake ain't not gonna believe until the Lord show him for real for real with action. Jake don't believe fat meat greasy, you know. Jake don't believe in nothing until the ass whooping starts. That's when they know that it's real. And the Lord is about to show y'all, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.